Did you ever think that God's sitting on high looking down on you and dishonoring, disrespecting, not thinking much about you? You know, God said to me when I was just a teenager, He said, I told Joshua to do three things, that if he would do those three things, that he would prosper and be healthy. At that time, I had never heard anybody in my church talk about prosperity. I'd never talk about uh, anybody being successful. And God said, if you'll do those same three things, you will be prosperous, you will be successful. And so I immediately went to Joshua 1.8 to see what God told Joshua. And he said, talk like God, think like God, act like God. If you'll do those three things, you will be prosperous and you will have great success. It absolutely changed my life and it'll change your life. God said, don't let anything uh, uh, from this book of the law not depart from your mouth. Don't let anything come out your mouth but the word. In other words, talk like God. Then he said, meditate that day and night. I mean, not once in a while, not twice a day, but he said all the time, meditate the word of God day and night. And thirdly, he said that you may observe to do or to be a doer of the word, to do according to all that's written therein. And then you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. That was just before I went into the mission fields permanently as an 18 year old kid. And it changed my life. And I've been all over the world, lived in the jungles, lived in des lived everywhere, watched God do miracles. And he's prospered me and made me successful, kept me healthy, saved me. He'll do the same thing for you. Get in the word today and do those three things. In this powerful best-selling mini book, God's Opinion of You, Terry Mize explains biblical foundations on how to receive and use the authority God has given you. A mini book that fits in your pocket, but packs a big punch. You'll learn to see yourself how God sees you. Righteous, blessed, more than a conqueror. Get your copy today at terrymize.com. So all of heaven, is watching the earth all the time looking for a man or a woman that's going to use the Word of God, that's going to speak the Word of God, that's going to move on the Word of God. And when they do, heaven moves. Welcome today to More Than Conquerors program. We are thrilled to be with you. Uh, we are going to be talking about some things that I think will be of great value to you and especially in your resources and the opportunity that you would have to share some of the things that Terry has been preaching for now almost 56 years. And we're going to talk about each one of these things that are areas of revelation, insight, information that will help you actually be a doer of the Word of God. That's the bottom line, isn't it? Sounds right to me. <laughs> We've got to be doers. <laughs> Faith without works is dead. Love without action is dead. Uh, talking about the supernatural and no miracles, that's not the way to do it. You mm -hmm. have to have the miracles. You have to have the proof. So the first thing we're going to talk about today and just spend two or three minutes on is um, this new CD that we did this past year in 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, give us a little background and context how this CD came about? Well, actually, we went up to one of our great partner churches, uh, Pastor Tony and Mary Kroger, up in Sedalia, Missouri. Yes. And um, wonderful church. I really had in my heart uh, to minister on something else because I had ministered uh, several sessions on, on a subject. Right. And uh, I thought, well, I'll finish it at their church. I'll just get that recording Add, add some more punch to it. Yeah. And so when I got there, we went out to dinner Saturday night before the Sunday morning service, and they said, would you minister uh, on the supernatural and miracles? And miracles. Yeah. And that thing, that kind of thing in the morning. And I said, uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. Not what I thought I was going to do, but sure. Yeah. And so I just uh, hurriedly that night, you know, prayed and put some stuff together and came up with this. And uh, God just blessed it and honored it. And Absolutely. it's really a good it's CD. It's really a good message. Talking about where are you from? You know, you're right. not, you're, you're, we're not from here. We're not from the earth. Our passport is from heaven. Uh, that's our home. That's where we came from. It's where we're going. 
in, uh, in all the supernatural things of God and the real miracles right. of God. Contrast to the difference between Hollywood and the, the Old Testament, <laughs> that Hollywood right. has yes. got the church dumbed down to where we expect the Old Testament to be sensational and spectacular like a Hollywood movie where things blow up and, right. you know, and cars go flying off the road and blood splatters on the wall. And, and, and then we read about how that uh, the walls of Jericho fell down the byways. Oh, that's not spectacular. That's not sensational. Right. No, it's not. It's spectacular. It's uh, miraculous. That's it. And God doesn't want our life to be sensational. He doesn't want our life to be spectacular. He that's wants right. it to be miraculous. He is a supernatural miracle working God. So that's, that's right. That's how that came about. Well, it was. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I bring out a lot of things in the Bible people probably had never thought about before. That's like, true. Uh, Where did the quail come from? Yeah. Whenever God gave them quail to eat, uh, they were griping, complaining, saying, we want to. Uh, we want meat to eat. We miss, we miss the food in Egypt. We miss the cucumbers in Egypt. And uh, we want flesh. And God said, all right, I'll tell you what. If you want flesh, I'll give you flesh. Right. I won't give it to you for one day or two days or three days or four days. I'll give it to you until it's coming out your nostrils. Yeah. You'll be fed up with it. And sure enough, he did. He, he brought quail. The Bible says uh, the quail came up out of the sea. Well, we know quail didn't come from the sea. So it came from that other world. It came from the supernatural. It came from heaven. Right. That other world, that fourth dimension is just right here. You know, and so we talk a lot about that, and uh, well, there, and there's the a lot concept of to beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, there, there's so much relevance in that, uh, in, in the fact that uh, knowing what realm we have come out of. Uh, Jesus told Nicodemus, you've been born of the flesh, mm -hmm. but then now you need to be born of the spirit. That spirit realm yeah. is where we actually have come from. And that is where we're going to. Jesus even said this in, in the book of John, I think 14, 15 chapter. He said he was arguing with them and he, and he told them, he said, look, I know where I've come from and I know where I'm going, yeah. you know, and this is what this is all about. It's knowing how to function out of the realm you came out of and the realm you're going into. Exactly. And so so it's the supernatural. Where are you from? And there's so much in here, Terry. I'm telling you, it was marvelous. I learned so much that day. And since then, we have talked about that and lived off of it and confessed it and shared with so many other people. Sure. It's right here on this CD called The Supernatural. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is um, this little book that Terry wrote, oh, how many years ago? Oh, so I don't even know. Long, long, long time ago. Decades ago. Thirty something years ago, probably. And when Dean and I were pastoring in Corpus Christi, all those years, I gave this to our new membership class. We gave this to people that were new to the church. We gave this to people that were going through uh, emotional areas in their life where that were very, very negative. And we had to remind them about what God's opinion of them was. And the name of this little book is God's Opinion of yeah. you. What should you see in the morning when you look in the mirror? What should you see? Right. Should you see just an old sinner saved by grace? Right. Should you just see an unworthy, no good somebody? Should, uh, my righteousness is filthy rags. I, I'm no good. Right. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. You come on. I will. Oh, Lord, if it's your will. <laughs> no, no. That that's, You should see yeah. yourself. And the concept of that came from reading the Apostle Paul's letter that, where he said, don't think of yourself more highly than you ought yeah, to. Yeah, Romans 12. And I said, yeah. okay, Lord, I got that. I shouldn't think of myself more highly than I should. That, right. that would be pride. That would be wrong. That would be bad. Right. My question is, sir, how should I think of me? Right. You know, I don't think too high of me, but I don't think too low either. I mean, what, <laughs> right. what should I think about me? Yeah. What do you think about me? Right. And so that's just all scripture on what, how God sees you, how God thinks about you, and who, what you should see when you look in the mirror. I think this book is so phenomenal, and I have marketed it long before you and I were ever married. I mean, oh, yeah. we just, I just, I would hand it to pastors. I would give it to friends, uh, people. Uh, when I had my radio ministry, when they'd write in and ask for a prayer request or they'd send an offering, I'd send this little book out to so many people. And I am, I'm just always been a fan of this little book because it's so important for us to know you know, God's opinion of us sure, absolutely. on every, in every you. dynamic. Yeah, you know, I agree. Go ahead. I just want to look at the copyright. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, it's been phenomenal. We have churches order dozens of these at a time. Because the copyright was 1982. So that's, yeah, that's how long. It's, it's so been it's been 42 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> and um, we just have, like I was saying, we have people, um, you know, 
Christians, business people, order dozens of these so they can give them out in their businesses and in their local church. So we offer this for you in the office and you can call, go online and order these. Uh, they're, they're available to you as a resource to help you minister the gospel and encourage people. Uh, the next one we want to talk about, this is this has been such a heartwarming and yet just really passionate stirring that comes from this miracle that is in the Word of God that you taught. And um, I, this is just an amazing CD. I just want to encourage all of you, if you can, to get this because it's so powerful and it will change your perspective of expectation of how to believe God for a miracle. It's called The Iron Did Swim. The Iron Did Swim. And it's and it's not float. <laughs> no, it did swim. I've preached um, that many times in many places, and some even the pastors have come up to me and said, "That's a great message about the iron float." I said, "Oh no, no, <laughs> all contrary, it did not float. It swam." That's the right. The Bible says uh, an iron axe head actually swam from the bottom of the river up to the top of the river. That's right. And then swam over to the side where it belonged. I mean, that's and just, that whole thing's about miracles. That when you are facing impossibilities, you can. And the devil yes. says, "I'll get you this time. You won't get out of this this time. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get your wife. I'm going to get your kids. I'm going to get your husband. I'm going to destroy your business, destroy your marriage." That, that I've just looked at him so many times and said, uh, "The iron did swim. You couldn't even stop an iron axe head from swimming. You're not going to get my marriage. You're not going to get my life. You're not going to get my kids." That is just amazing, Terry. And it's just a, it's just about miracles and miracles and miracles. You can just slap the devil upside. The head with said, "Come on, man! You couldn't even stop Jericho's walls from falling down." That's right. You know, you you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't stop the Red Sea from splitting, and the children of Israel went over on dry ground. Well, th- those are phrases in the Bible that are it's ammunition. They're, yeah, exactly. They're ammunition. They're trophies you can set on your mantle. <laughs> there are things that you can say from the Word of God, like like Jonah. You know, salvation is of Absolutely. the Lord. The iron did swim. You know, several of these things through through the Word of God. Then said David. Yes. You know, these are phrases that will that are reminders of you for you of the great miracles that God did. And, you know, you and I both taught on Psalm 78 where it says that that Israel turned back in the day of battle because the fathers did not teach the children the great facts facts. of God's dealings with Israel. Your kids need to hear this. They need to know not just, you know, the I don't want to say that merely the miracles of the Bible, but then your testimony of how God provided for you and your family, how how God healed you of this, how God healed the, your child from that, how the Lord provided this need supernaturally for your family. The the ability to give testimony about miracles that Absolutely. God did is covered in this CD. And we just want to offer that to you. you. As I said, you can go on the website. Uh, you can order those, call our office. They're available for you. And then this is really um, a tremendous companion uh, to the great book that Jackie Mize, your first wife, uh, wrote, you and her together, uh, believing God for a supernatural childbirth. After you saw the the uh, <laughs> the natural way yes. uh, of how human beings give birth. But um, Jackie covered in this book, probably it says, experiencing the promises of God concerning conception and delivery. And this book, as you've said so many times, has so many scriptures. Oh, she covered that book. That yeah. has probably got more scripture in it than any book on the charismatic book table. Yeah. I mean, she just covered scriptures on healing, scriptures on finances, scriptures on... She just threw them all in there. <laughs> I mean, you can learn anything from that. <laughs> yeah, no. And it, and it doesn't it's just... Kind of, it's how we believed God. It's what how. We did, it's what the how we to. said. Because yeah. the doctors told her from the time she was a little girl, she could never have children. Right. And then she'd be an invalid in a wheelchair by the time she was 30. And so that book talks about that. We had four kids, eight grandkids, and she's never in a wheelchair. We get letters all the time from people. In fact, we re- I was just reading one sitting here when we did the program last week about testimonies of people, you know, and they come from all over the world and they'll write, Dear 
Jackie and Terry or dear Terry and Jackie, you mm-hmm. know, and they're not they're not necessarily keeping up with the ministry. They just have a testimony right. they want to share after they read this book. Yeah, Jackie's been in heaven now for 10 years. Almost. Yeah, 10 years. Those folks are still writing their letters. <laughs> <laughs> and so this book was written in when the late 70s. Or no, that yeah, was your no, in the eighties. Eighties. This book was written in the eighties, and they we are wrote that still... actually when we lived in Corpus with you, and we, right. with you and Dean, and uh, so it's, so it had to be somewhere in the eighties. And it's so phenomenal to me that uh, now that Terry and I are married, and, and Jackie and my first husband Dean are in are in heaven, that uh, this book is still being purchased and bought. And uh, people want uh, all kinds of information about it and how can we get so many of them. And and, uh, we're just thrilled with that. And then as a companion to that, which I think is one of the most helpful things for anybody. And this isn't just believing God to get pregnant. Uh, This is believing God for miracles in your body. And then after the baby is born, as Terry said, all these scriptures in here are, are prayed over how people in the Bible actually did the word. Sure. It's the, another how to, and this it, will... it, it does away with the mythology. Yeah, you know the old the old Christian mythology is that God hates women and He's mad at Eve, and so He no He put curse on Eve, and <laughs> and so now she either, sadly either so. has so much pain or even dies in childbirth. Right. You know, right. there's only one woman ever in the whole Bible that died in childbirth. Only one. I mean, it wasn't the the, the rule; it was mm-hmm. the exception. And that was Rachel because she and she didn't die because God was mad at her. She died because she stole her daddy's demon idols. He was an idol worshiper and she stole them. And her husband didn't know she stole them. Wow. Jacob. And so uh, uh, when her daddy was all upset about whoever stole his idols, Jacob spoke up and, and pronounced a curse and said, whoever stole them is going to die. And, and it was her, wow. and she in childbirth, she died. But that, that was the only woman in the whole Bible that ever died giving childbirth. And we act like it's supposed to be a common thing. It's not. It's not. You know, it's just amazing to me, Terry, how that we have got to continually remind people, let's go back to the Bible. Oh, let's absolutely. find the solutions absolutely. in the Word of God. And that was one thing when we learned about faith back in the 70s, uh, early 70s, was that, that one question that... that that the the ministers before us were teaching was what does the word say? Absolutely. That's your very first Absolutely. question. Every trial, trauma, disaster, need. You always got to go see what the word says. You have to go because back. Because everybody thinks God's word? mad. You know, all throughout history, I think God's mad at you. God's mad at women. God <laughs> hates women. God hates you. What a deliverance you know, and, to know and, that that's and not God the actually said in the Bible, he said, I swore. Yes. That I will not be mad at you. I swore by myself. Because there's none higher that I will not be mad at you. Isn't that wonderful? God's a good God. He loves us. Oh, my goodness. What a gracious God. He doesn't like sin, but he loves us. This little book right here covers so much of of what they experienced personally. And and it comes from here. So it's a companion. It meant to be a purse, stick it in your purse, and you'd always have the prayers and the. It's called Prayers and Promises for Supernatural Childbirth. And. I would, if, if I were you, I'd keep one in the car in your purse, ladies. It's also um, an audio book. Uh, they yeah, can get there's it, a, they we can have get an audio of this House, uh, and uh, the print and printed words. So uh, take advantage of these things for you. These are resources that you can help other people with that have been, like you've said so many times on the book table back there. There's no theory no, on the no book theory. table. No theory back there. This is all tried and proven. And then we're coming down here to this wonderful series we produced this past year as well called Living to Give. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's a lifestyle. <laughs> That's a lifestyle that you can embrace that uh, I embraced when I was just a kid, went Wayne Myers and heard him preaching. Yes. And I watched his lifestyle and, you know, saw him so much. You know, he's 101 years old now and still right. preaching. Right. And uh, so, and I've known him for, well, this year's 56 years that I've known him. Just talked to him, you know, last week on the phone. And uh, living to give is something that just, uh, he opened my eyes to. Right. And I've never seen anything like it. It's just tremendous. Well, he. It changed your life. Exactly. Um, 
the the example that Brother Wayne has lived on living to give, his book uh, on living beyond the possible mm -hmm. that he wrote many years ago, mm -hmm. has everything to do with how to make living uh, to give a lifestyle, right. as you have said, rather than just an event on Sunday. You know, he wrote two tremendous books. Well, actually, wrote three, but two two of them are actual books. One's just a a collection of one liner, right? One liners that people right. have said. Some of them are his, some other he, he quotes other people. But the two he wrote is called uh, Living Beyond the Possible, that you, right. as you said. And then the other one is Honoring the Call. Right. And that's so powerful for ministers to honor your call, whatever God's called you to do, right. that you honor that. You and I have talked the last several weeks on the program about God trusting, God entrusting us with the call, right. entrusting us with the anointing, entrusting us with the ministry. And then we trust him to be able to go carry it right. out and fulfill it and for faith to operate and, and the anointing to operate and so on and so forth. Well, this is this is just lifestyle. You know, these aren't sermons. These are things that are really tools and resources <coughs> for you to step out of the realm of what you're seeing in the natural and what the doctor's telling you or what the bank account says and actually begin to call in from, out of that realm of the supernatural the promises of God to manifest no, that's right. in your that's life. Right. So. You know, Oral Roberts, uh, who was my dear friend for many, many years, uh, called me one day and had me come up to ORU. He, he still lived in Tulsa at that time before he moved to California. Right. And uh, we, we were having dinner, and he said, Terry, he said, talk to me about living to give. And yeah. he, had, he had read my chapter in, 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 right. in this book right here. Yes. He read my chapter read on living book. to give. And that, that book's 40-something years old, yeah. almost 50 years old. More than conquerors. And uh, he had read that, and he said, Terry, he said, talk to me about living to give this in your book. And I said, well, Oral, you're the one that taught me about Miracle of Seed Faith in your right, book. Right. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, and Miracle of Seed Faith is great. He said, but what you're talking about here is a lifestyle. Exactly. He said, living to give, he said, that intrigues me. That's a lifestyle. And so we sat and talked about it and discussed it. And he told me, he said, he said this is mine and Evelyn's favorite book. <laughs> more than conquerors. He said, we keep it on our nightstand. Right. It's sitting right on our nightstand. Right. And said, everyone even gives it away as Christmas presents and birthday presents and, <laughs> and things like that, you know. Uh, but he said, talk to me about living to give. It's a life. What you're talking about is a lifestyle. Right. And I said, well, I got it from Wayne Myers. And uh, and I said, right. I, I watched him live it. I heard him preach it. Yeah. And uh, so I embraced it and still not ever going to turn from it. <laughs> Well, this, you know, this is pretty much your life, uh, more than conquerors and living to give. And then yours and Jackie's on supernatural childbirth and then your book on, um, you know, God's opinion of you, uh, the stories and the testimonies and then the teaching on faith that goes along with each one right, of those right. topics that you give. Like you're saying with, with Jackie's book on the supernatural childbirth, you have all these scriptures oh, yeah. that are proof. In examples, testimonies. Yeah, you know, this isn't just... Our, our books and tapes are pretty much filled with, here's the scripture, here's how we did it. Exactly. Here's the scripture, here's how we did it. Here's <laughs> the scripture, here's how we did it. It's testimony right. based on the word. You take right. the word, you make the life happen. Right. And you have to say it. You have to you have it's not just believing and agreeing with it. It's really training your mind and and then faith lodging in the heart to where you begin to live the life that this book promises. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's uh, first Thessalonians four one over there where Paul said, I'm writing all this stuff to y'all <laughs> so that you can attain. This is the language in the Amplified attain yet greater perfection in living this life. And that's what all this is. And that's certainly not all that's in your library of, of, of ministry offerings on CD. But I'm telling you, these are just a few of the things that, that have happened in the last year and then things that have been standard fare uh, to let people see the great miracle ministry that you've had in 56 years. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Thank God. I mean, this just, it's just a it's long just, running testimony. <laughs> I mean, how many miracles do you have in 56 years of how God uh, paid for the crusade when there was no money and no airfare and, you know, how, how the Lord provided for, to pay for a pastor's conference when when there hadn't been any money come in and how you got from here to there. All the miracles that you and Jackie saw of God providing for you over all those years, time and time and Absolutely. time again. That's just spectacular. And I think and not to mention the blind eyes open. Oh, the my deaf goodness, ears Terry. Open. Yes. The, the, the cripples walk. The devil's cast out. The tumors fall off. The cancers die. You know, the, I mean. Well, God has certainly proved himself 
faithful to finance your ministry and then to prove himself. He didn't leave you hanging out there <laughs> on the crusade platform, right. inviting p- blind eyes and people to come for miracles. He, sh- he showed off, yes, you know, yes. and did that. Now, the last book, of course, is my my single offering in all of this. And it's uh, a book I wrote over 20 years ago now um, when I was invited to minister to uh, several hundred Catholics <laughs> every week by a, a leading businessman there in Corpus Christi. And, um, you know, a lot of people just don't get a lot of Bible teaching and right. they don't even own Bibles. And so I w- didn't know how to really do that as a Pentecostal. And I just asked the Lord to show me how to show value to the Word of God, that people are going to have to learn how to get into the Word of God. And so I got over in Isaiah 55 where the Lord talks about that his word will not return void and that his Amen. thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Amen. His ways are higher than our ways. And so it comes down to how you think and what you do and the words, the words that come out of your mouth. You're going to have to change your ways and enhance them with the promises of God and know the value of the word of God and then begin to say what he says. And so it's called higher thinking for higher living. And uh, it's it's kind of the opposite of what your book was, God's Opinion of You. And my book is kind of like about how I what my opinion of God needs to be. (laughs) (laughs) So we just offer this in high class Christianity for you. And we again, we just want to give you these resources and make them available to you and let you reinvest in some things that have to do with your faith, your growing, your ability to act on the word of God. Amen. You know, that's that's where we all Sounds are. Right to me. Well, we're learning all the time. I of mean, course. we're learning all the things. I mean, we're growing. The Bible talks about going from faith to faith. You know, all these things that we we're really just growing all the time. And so we're learning. And so and we don't have much time here left with you today. But darling, you know, you've proven all through those years you are more than a conqueror. You've conquered it. You've conquered it. You know, well, that's what the word tells us we are. So we need to live up to it. That's right. So one more time, we're so glad you gave us this opportunity to speak with you. And we're going to confess over you as well as ourselves that we are more than conquerors. Bye-bye. Renee and I just wanted to pop in and bless you and speak a blessing over you and tell you about a resource that's available to you. I recently did a message uh, at a church that uh, the pastors had asked me to minister on the supernatural, on the miraculous. And uh, Renee and I both felt like that the Holy Spirit just showed up and, and it did it a good job. Uh, we called it, uh, where are you from? You know, are you from this this world here? Or are you from the heavenly world? And, and I think it, you get a hold of it, it'll bless you, it'll minister to you, and uh, you'll learn some things about miracles. Well, it was so profound in that uh, we have to realize that we are living in a realm where we're surrounded by the natural, but yet we're called upon, Terry, like you taught, to live out of the supernatural realm. Absolutely, absolutely. And I I think you probably hadn't heard anything like this before. I asked some pretty pointed questions that uh, I think will be a blessing to you. Sure will. The details are on the screen on how you can get it. Order the CD with shipping and handling or download instantly at terrymize.com. In this powerful best-selling mini-book, God's Opinion of You, Terry Mize explains biblical foundations on how to receive and use the authority God has given you. A mini-book that fits in your pocket, but packs a big punch. You'll learn to see yourself how God sees you. Righteous, blessed, more than a conqueror. Get your copy today at terrymize.com. <laughs>